Hey everybody, Joy here. How are you guys today? It is Tuesday? Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Oh, I lose track of the days. Oh my goodness, do I lose track of the days. Let me see, what did I do today? Judy Kessinger, so it's Tuesday. It's April 27, 2021. Because I did Judy Kessinger and she was at 1 o'clock. Are y'all watching her clinics? They are so fun and so good. Even if you don't use Fit Nice, just if you sew or if you want to learn how to sew, she is so much fun and she shows so many different ways to take a simple, simple, simple thing like this, like this, and change it into just so many different things. She is amazing. Very, very fun lady. Judy Kessinger. Okay, I'm going to make a quilt. Okay, okay. Pick yourself up off the floor. Pick yourself up off the... I, I should have announced it slower. I shouldn't have just splurted it out like that. <laughs> have your husband give you mouth to mouth and come back to me. <laughs> yes, you know we have an RV. I'll show you some pictures of the RV in this video, okay? You want to see our RV? It's total disaster now. Jerry works in it every single day, and there's papers everywhere, and equipment everywhere, and stuff he's pulled out here and there everywhere. Oh, I may just show you some pictures I took at the showroom. Well, it wasn't the showroom, it was a, a sales place. Anyhow, I have a tip. I have a tip. Do you see here how I have a jelly roll? Do you see here how I have another one of the exact same jelly roll? Do you see here how I have another one of the exact same jelly roll? <laughs> they just came today. This was all wrapped up. I just unwrapped it. I ordered it to make a quilt for the RV. But I wanted more than one jelly roll. And Missouri Star Quilt Company always says you can only have one. You can't order more than one. And so I called my friend Jeffy and I said, Jeff, order me one of these. I need two of them because I want to make a quilt for my RV. He said, Joy, you can get two. He said, just put one in your basket and buy it, and then put another one in your basket and buy it. So I thought, oh, I can do that, and I had already bought one. So I got out my computer, and I went back to Missouri Star, and I thought, well, I'll just go in as Jerry if this doesn't work, like Jeffy said it would. So I put one, one, in my cart. And, of course, I had to pay $5 freight again. That's the thing about it. You can only order one you got to pay $5 freight, order another one, pay $5 freight, and somehow I ended up with three. This would have had to be three different orders, three different $5 freights. So, <laughs> somehow I have three of these, and I only need one of them to make this quilt. But I love the colors for our new van. It's not a van, it's an RV. I'll show you up close kind of what they look like. Our new RV is beiges and browns. Beiges and browns. And it's and I don't like a lot of browns, but I really like this RV inside. It's very, very nicely done. So I ordered this to make a quilt, but I ordered two because I thought I'd want to make a big quilt, right? So they got here today. And yes, I've got photos all over me, so <laughs> these things, whew. Stuff just flies off of them. So I thought, what will I make? What will I make? What will I make? Well, I have a year or two of these block magazines, maybe three years of them. I think you get six a year, so I've probably got three years of them. And I thought, well, I bought all of those block magazines. Surely there's a quilt in one of those magazines that I can make with jelly rolls. <laughs> right? You gotta have jelly rolls. So I went and I sat down and I got the magazines out and there's probably, I don't know, at least 20 of them, maybe more. And I started going through them. Well, about the fourth one that I went through, I noticed this one. And what am I going to use my RV for? I'm going to put a sewing machine in it and I'm going to sew, right? So I found this one. <laughs> Is that super cute? Sewing machine duty. <laughs> with jelly roll strips sewing machines I just think that's the cutest thing in the whole wide world
This is going to be the background. It's a creamy, ecru, eggshell type color. See? It goes pretty with all these colors, do you think? Jeffy, tell me what you think. Is Jeff still coming? If I live long enough, he might show up. <laughs> oh, I just found out you've got to have a new license or you can't fly. You don't have to have the vaccine, but you have to have the new kind of license or you can't fly. So Jeff may be walking here. I don't know. <laughs> so, you see the sewing machines? You see how they have all black needles? Well, I decided needles aren't black. And so I decided I don't want black needles. This is why you have to have a stash, ladies. So I went and I pulled some grays out of my stash. <laughs> I actually put them next to my sewing machine needles. <laughs> I know. So the next thing is, I need something that's going to show up good on this color. So I decided that the light probably isn't going to work too good. But I've got one here that's pretty dark. And I think I can get every single needle out of this. But maybe I'll mix up the grays. I don't know. What do y'all think? So, that's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make it probably laptop size. Because this RV, the people that owned it, they only owned it for a very short time. You know, it only had 4,500 miles on it before we bought it. They evidently didn't like the couch that came with it. So they bought these leather. It's a love seat. I guess you would call it because there's two of them next to each other. One next to another one, so there's two. I didn't get the wrinkles out of that, did it? So it's got these brown recliners in it. They're very, 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 very nice. And they're leather. And they're dark brown and a medium brown. And they're really nice. And so I am going to make a laptop, laptop? No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm going to make a lap size quilt out of sewing machines because those two recliners are going to be right by where I sew. And so, it will go. <laughs> Plus, I think these colors will be pretty on the brown recliners. I may never get the wrinkles out of this piece of gray, however. <laughs> this is one wrinkled up piece of material. Good grief. So you want to see my, my RV? My RV, Jerry's RV. It's Jerry's new toy is what it is. He lives in it during the day and he comes in at night to sleep. <laughs> Eat and sleep. <laughs> Today, he's putting some kind of a camera on top of the roof, on top of the air conditioner, so he can see, because we live in all these trees here and we drive down a road through a zillion trees, and he wants to see if the trees are going to knock the air conditioner off the roof or something. I said, what are you going to do if they are? What are you going to do if they are? Park the RV in the middle of the road, get out with a chainsaw, and cut down the branches? Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, we're on. <laughs> my iron's in my Amazon store. My ironing board's in my Amazon store. My Amazon store is always in the description box below. So, let me put some pictures in here of our RV. It's just a little RV. We got a little one. It's called a Bay Star Sport, I think, by Newmar, a Bay Star Sport. And it's just 30 foot long. They come 40 foot long, 45 foot long. Those just terrified us. <laughs> we want to tow our car behind it. So we wanted something we felt like we could handle that, you know, Jerry thinks I'm going to drive it. Well, he better think again because I'm not driving it. But uh, we wanted something that we could feel comfortable in, get used to, and then maybe if we decide we really like having an RV, then we'll trade it in for a bigger one someday. Who knows? It's a crazy world right now. So, I'll be back. I'll start cutting this out. How about I make one block and show you how this sewing machine block goes. However, if it's in the Missouri Star book, which it is, I've already moved the book, if it's in the Missouri Star block book, I'm sure Jenny 
has a tutorial on YouTube on how to do this. You want me to tell you what it's called? Hold on. Oh yeah, I was going to show you pictures of my RV. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some pictures of the RV in here. You can figure out the inside part of it's a kitchen and it's got an oven and it's got a stove and it's got a refrigerator and it's got closets and it's got tons of storage and I'm sure you can figure out what the, what the pictures are. Okay, I'll put them right here. This quilt is called So, S-E-W, So Inspired. So check out Missouri Star Quilt Company on the web if you're interested in this sewing machine quilt. And um, maybe she has a tutorial there. I would not be surprised. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so cute. It, really, it doesn't really look much like a sewing machine. It really doesn't. See, that's it. <laughs> but when you put them all together... It kind of looks like one. So, I'll be back. <laughs> for those of you who have known me for years, you know that most of my quilts are quilts with applique. Applique owls, applique houses, applique turtles, applique butterflies. I have not done a ton of piecing. So, I'm going to show you how I'm arranging this. I'm not an advanced great quilter. I've done a lot of quilting, but I haven't done a lot of piecing. So I'm going to show you how I divided this up from my newbie mind <laughs> to organize this, to take it in the RV with me and take it to my daughter's house for Mother's Day. I'm going to make maybe a couple blocks just so I'll know exactly what I'm doing, but then I'll take the rest with me and finish it at her house. Won't that be fun? So let me show you what I've done here. These are the directions. There are one, two, three, four, five, six steps according to the directions. So I have taken six heat, erasable, friction markers. Markers, markers, not pens. You can find them in my Amazon store below. Friction markers. I've taken a different color and I've marked each step so my mind can tell me you're in the yellow part, you're in the blue part right now, you're in the pink part right now, okay? So my mind doesn't get all mixed up. Then what I've done is I have underlined what I was doing as I was doing it and then I check it off as I do it. So step number one told me to cut 11 two and a half inch strips okay they said to buy a jelly roll i didn't have a jelly roll so i cut my own strips with my AccuCut. so that is for one part of the directions then it said to cut three more two and a half inch strips for a different part of the quilt so i have those marked this is called Washi tape or washi tape, maybe washi tape. I'll put it in my store if it isn't already right there. Washi tape, it comes in all different colors and it's just a little bit of stick like post-it notes. So I've marked that three times two and a half. Then it said to cut eight three and a half inch strips. Now I gave Terry the three and a half inch strip thing for my AccuCut, so I just went ahead and cut them with my quilting ruler, my quilter select quilting ruler. So this is eight three and a half inch strips. This is all called background fabric. Okay, so what I did was I took my yardage, I had maybe two yards of this color, so that's what I'm using. Um, it says that what you need is one and a quarter yard, so I, I have more than what I need. So there's still some more I need to cut out of it, but I haven't gotten to that step yet. Now, here's something else. I don't have this checked off yet because I haven't done it yet. 
select 32 prints, 32 prints out of your jelly roll. Select 32 prints. I have an underline in yellow. Keep the print strips folded in half when cutting. From each of the 32 strips, cut a two and a half by five inch rectangle, a two and a half by five and a half inch rectangle, and a two and a half by nine inch rectangle. Sort the rectangles into sets of one each, I think it says, okay? So, now I'm going to take out whatever it said to do with this, then I'm going to cut it up however it said I was supposed to cut it up, and then I will put all that together. Now, if you guys want lots and lots of quilting instruction, go over there to Becky's Place, Power Tools with Thread, and oh my gosh, Missouri Star Quilt Company, and what's the other lady? Um, just just get it done, get it done quilts, or over and done, or something like that. There's tons and tons of quilt tutorials out there, my friend. But, a lot of you like to watch how I do things, so I'm just going to show you how I do this, okay? And I'll go ahead and make at least one sewing machine block. I'm so excited. It's 5.30. I haven't fixed supper yet. I've got to get my rear in gear. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, my quilting friends. I'm not sure where I left off yesterday, so I'll just do a little recap. <laughs> I showed you how I numbered the steps with colored friction markers in my book, and then I made check marks next to the parts I have done. So I started out with number one. So I have done a step here and a step here, and now I'm going back up here to do this step because it doesn't have a check mark yet. So what it said to do was to pick out 32 strips from my jelly roll. Here they are, 32 strips <laughs> from my jelly roll. Then it tells me to take the jelly rolls, and I've already started it, and chop them up into different measurements. So let me show you how I did that. I think I told you about the washi tape yesterday. The washi tape, it's not real sticky, which is what's good about it. Sometimes it doesn't stick very good at all, but I did put this in my Amazon store, so you can look at it there. Now, this particular kind is a half inch. It's a half inch wide. I think it comes a little skinnier, maybe a little wider, but you can determine what kind you want, okay? But it is in my store. So, I've got my strips marked according to... See, it doesn't stick real good, but it'll stay. I've got my strips all marked here from the background fabric. Now, here's what I'm doing now, cutting up my 32 jelly roll strips. I'm supposed to cut every single one of them into two and a half by nine inch rectangles, two and a half by five inch rectangles, two and a half by five and a half inch rectangles. Now there's the ones I've already cut. So I have just stacked them up there where I can see them. I'm cutting about four of them at one time is what I'm doing. So I'll show you how I do that, okay? But this is how I'm gonna keep track of it. And then we're gonna put them together into sewing machines eventually. So let me show you how I cut that. I can tell you if you're new to quilting, you can trust the Missouri Star Quilt Company quilt patterns to have really good instructions. Really good. Now this is the Block Magazine. This comes out every other month from Missouri Star Quilt Company. It's six or seven dollars a magazine and each one has ten quilt patterns in it. At least this one does. And then the directions inside are extremely, extremely good. So, I highly recommend if you're wanting to start quilting, use a Missouri Star quilt pattern. Uh, Edita Sitar's patterns are very good, but hers are a little more advanced, I think. And then Becky over at Power Tools with Thread um, uses one from Villa, Villa Designs or Villa Rosa Designs or something like that. Uh, go over there to Becky at Power Tools with Thread. Those are very, very easy. Oh, and let me tell you another really good place if you want to make a quilt and you don't feel qualified, but you've never done it before, you've done very little like I have. There's a website called Jordan, J-O-R-D-A-N, Jordan Fabrics. 
And this lady named Donna Jordan has, golly, is it every single day? It's, it's like every single day has a new quilt pattern. There's just hundreds of them, and a whole bunch of them are free. She uses patterns from some other companies too, but I don't know the names of them. But if you want to learn about quilting, I highly recommend on YouTube, Missouri Star Quilt Company videos and Donna Jordan. And I think her channel's called Jordan Fabrics. They're in Colorado somewhere. Okay. So, I got myself a ruler. I can't put these in my Amazon store because they don't sell them on Amazon. But these Quilter Select rulers, they're just the best. They're just the best, best, best. They have uh, some kind of non-stick coating on them, but it's, it's, it's not like any other one you'll ever use. It can easily slide on fabric, easily slide, or you hold it down and it won't slide at all. Can you even see me over here? <laughs> Love these. So, I picked this ruler. I have them in several different sizes. I have this size. This size is a um, 18 by 3 inch. This one is a 12 by 3 inch. And this one is a 24 by 6 inch. Oh, super nice. Super nice. I <laughs> sound like Edna is saying, oh, oh. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four of these jelly rolls. Now this is just how I'm doing it, okay? If you say, well, we never saw anybody else do it like that. Well, I imagine that is totally true. Totally true. <laughs> A lot of people use the grid on their table. And you always ask me, I always get asked, where did I get this mat? These mats I order from Quilters Rule. www QuiltersRule, R-U-L-E, dot com. So, if you want to get one of these in a special measurement, I would recommend them. So, what I'm going to do first is cut the selvages off of these things. Because you don't want selvages in your quilt. So, I'm going to put this ruler down here. Did you see I put it? I didn't slap it. Not all rulers are slappable. So here's the selvages. They're all cut off. So now, I'm going to turn this around. You don't want to cut from the fold. Then I'm going to line them back up again, like I had them, only I'm turning them around the other way. I understand, or I heard, or I read, or something, that, um, they're making these jelly rolls without the zigzags on them. You know, the, the tip of the zigzags is, is actually bigger, wider than two and a half inches. Yeah. Oh, wait, Joy. You want the non-folded edge. So line these babies up as straight as you can prepare them here. These are going to be sewing machines on my sewing machine quilt. <laughs> yeah. All right, that looks pretty straight to me. This is the end I cut the selvages off of. This is the fold. Fold. The fold I'm going to end up throwing in this basket here. I'm going to throw the folds in this basket because I believe I can use those for corner squares later. This basket was one of my monthly gifts when I bought my Solaris sewing machine. It folds up flat. It's really cool. So I'm putting all of my corn, all of my fold leftovers in that little basket. All right, two and a half by nine. So I'm going to find nine on my ruler. I'm going to look and be sure these are pretty lined up, and they are. So we're going to cut nine inches nine inches and it says it tells you to leave the jelly rolls folded so these are nine inches i'm putting them on the nine inch stack next i need two and a half by five because there's my little washi tape telling me i need five inches so i'm going to cut five inches this time 
And this is cutting easily through that many. So there's the two and a half by fives. They're going on that stack. Two and a half by five and a half. Now I'll tell you a really cool thing about these rulers. Everything's cool about these rulers. I love them. Love them. And I have every other kind of ruler ever made. I've got them. I can just tell you these are better. Quilters rule. No. Quilters select. Dot com. Five and a half. Five and a half. Now these are going in here. The thing about these Quilter Select rulers, all of them, all of them have the numbers going both directions. So you can go from 1 to 18 this way, or you can go from 1 to 18 that way. Same here, you can go from 1 to 11, 12 that way, 1 to 12 that way, you can go 1 to 24 on this one, and 1 to 24. Really cool. I'll show it to you up close so you can see what I'm talking about. See how the numbers, there's a dark one and a light one. So depending on which way you turn the ruler, down here at the beginning. I'm going to finish cutting all the rest of these. And then, hopefully I'll be ready to make a sewing machine. I'll be back. I have all of my 9 inches, my 5 inches, and my 5 and a half inches cut. So, I made a yellow check mark next to that step. So I have three yellow check marks showing the three pieces I have done so far. I'm not doing them in the order they're listed. You don't have to do them in the order they're listed. Just make sure you do them. <laughs> Select five print strips from your jelly roll. Cut each strip into 16 two and a half inch squares. That's my next step. So I'm gonna go pick five strips. It's a good thing I have three of these because I'm fixing to open another one. Turns out the five strips I have left are too much alike. And this is for the cornerstones. And so I don't want all the cornerstones to be these burgundies here. I want some blues and some golds and some pinks. So I'm going to open up another one of my rolls. How about that? So nice to have an extra roll. <laughs> because I don't want all of my cornerstones to look alike. How about all of those colors? Yeah, I think that looks really nice. I think that's a nice combination. So that's going to be my cornerstones. Now I've got all these jelly rolls all mixed up, so. <laughs> I haven't made a lot of jelly roll quilts. I don't know if I've made any. I think I made one. I think I made one jelly roll quilt and I gave it away. I think it was a zigzag quilt. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They call for five. But I'm using eight because I want eight choices. Remember, this is what I'm making. This is what I'm making, and you see the little bitty squares? That's what I'm cutting now. And you have to have 60 of them. Now, five jelly roll strips will make 60, but that doesn't mean you have to use just five. You could use 60 different ones and have 60 different colors if you wanted to. See? See? Isn't it fun? <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So I'm going to cut off the selvages. You have to cut off the selvages. So they're two and a half to start with. And I'm cutting, let's go back to my directions. I'm cutting 80 two and a half inch squares. So now I can use a smaller ruler because all I need is two and a half inches. So I'm going to make this be two and a half inches.
my first two needles. The needles on Missouri Star's quilt are black, but I wanted mine to be gray because I never saw a black needle ever in my whole entire life. A little more done. The top of my sewing machine and the side of my sewing machine. Yippee, kayo, kayo. I love to sew today. Ta-da! Two whole sewing machines. A brown one and a pretty pinky red one with a needle. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is too much fun. I hate these zigzags, you guys. You actually have to let the zigzags stick over the edge. You have to let them stick over the edge. See, over the edge? And sometimes they don't stick too good because the zigzags are not included in the two and a half inches. So I'm glad they're starting to trim them without the zigzags. Well, it's a new day here. Hopefully we're gonna get some sunshine today and not pouring rain and clouds all day. But I wanted to show you, I have my first quilt box all ready to go to my new sewing room at my daughter's house. All the pieces are cut and put in bags. You want to see, I've got my recipe. Somebody calls these recipes. I think Moda has some recipes and Edita has some recipes, but I call it a pattern. So see, I have my needles all ready to go. I have fabric for sashings. I have some of my washi tape. I have four of my friction pens, and I have my little bags of cut squares and rectangles. And so these are going with me to my new sewing room at Tammy's house. So then I thought to myself with my lightning fast mind, well, if I do this at Tammy's house, what will I do in the motorhome? <laughs> So I thought I should have two quilt projects, right? Number one problem, I only have one of these boxes. <laughs> Number two problem is I'm gonna have to cut out another quilt. Hold on a second. You've heard me talk about Bernina Jeff. Bernina Jeff has a store in Colorado someplace. And I was watching him one day and they were um, talking about their classes and they were gonna have a class on this quilt. And I just loved this quilt because of the colors in it. So I ordered the kit is it called a kit with all the fabrics in it so this is kind of complicated to me piecing is not my thing you know my thing's applique <laughs> so I'm really learning a lot so like everything else you can learn with me if you want to so I'm thinking I'll get safe harbor over here I'll order some more of these boxes and I'll get safe harbor cut up and ready to go and put it in a box and then I'll have two that's four, two <laughs> quilts ready to go. So I'm going to wind this video up or it's gonna be days and days long and everybody will fall asleep and be so bored. So we'll just stop this here. I will definitely take my video camera Mother's Day to my daughter's house and I'll set it up and you can watch me make sewing machines. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, I'll be back soon. Bye for now.